Welcome back to the Hit Squad. Chad Range alongside Jesse Finney. We're going to be tackling the top pound for pound fighters. Now, is this with beards or without beards? This is with beards. With beards. There are beards. Now, I do. Agree. Beards are allowed in this one. <laughs> and we want to know what you think, as always. Uh, the email is uh, hitsquad at 101sports.com, Twitter handle at hitsquad 101 ESPN. Dana White's current top five pound for pound fighters, John Jones. Anderson Silva, George St. Pierre, Renan Barraro, and Jose Alda. So uh, you can't go wrong with that. I mean, I'm a little, uh, you know, I, I think I would have definitely have George and Anderson flip flopped on that one. Well, who would be your top five? Uh, I would definitely go with uh, John Jones is number one, uh, George St. Pierre number two. See, I just Anderson got beat, man. I just think he dro it drops him out of the top. So did right so now. did John Jones. I feel so. You, you mean he yeah. drops him? I mean, I mean, it's. it's I, in, go ahead. I'm sorry. I mean, no, that's fine. I, I think I think Glover deserves to crack the top. I mean, 20 in a row is nothing to scoff at. Jose Alba, absolutely. And my question here is. We uh, we really push. When's Ronda Rousey find her way in? Does she need more no, wins? No, she's not top five. I mean, I mean, not I mean, top five, but not I mean, top, it's pound for pound. Not, I don't but I mean, these people top. aren't going to fight each other. Yeah, if she's pound the champion, for pound, pound for pound is pound. Well, for pound, pound for pound, women. Who's better than her? No, pound for okay, women. He says pound for pound, fighters. Fighters, yeah. Well, she's okay, the didn't champion. Say women. So is she out of the top ten? Yes. Ronda doesn't even make it in the top ten. No, no, I, I don't think so. No, she's got less than 10 fights. Well, I mean, she's been is... fighting on a main card in the UFC. Yeah. I mean, they're well, paying her like no she's one, a champ. There's, she's no, be, there's no one for her to fight in the UFC. I mean, she's got to fight so on the main card. So she would have to be better than everyone Every women's else. fight. Every, there's always a women's fight on the main card in the UFC. So she would have to be better than everyone else. Yes, absolutely. But, that's, the, but that's still not good enough to get to the top 10. The top 10 pound for pound. Are you well, kidding if me? If you're a champion at something, then the UFC is the pinnacle of the league. Ronda Rousey can't even crop the, you know. Why should I watch the women fights then? No, I if it's, I, I, mean, hey, if it's I don't. I, I love the women's fights, but they should not be on the on the main card. I, I could argue this point all day long. I mean, there's so many other people I mean, that it, do it. If we're putting them on the main card, I just feel like we should hey, be watching the best fighters. It's almost like a token right now where they get one woman on a, on a main card fight. Okay, Ronda Rousey is a huge draw. That's the reason she's on the main card, so you're going to go buy the damn thing. Okay, I tell you what, I think that it's actually a smart marketing idea. Oh, but if we're talking, if we're, if, we're talk, if we're talking, is she a top 10 fighter in the world, pound for pound? Absolutely not. Who's going to beat her? Who, women. I'm talking pound for pound. Overall, this is well, pound so, uh, for pound. Yeah, not so women. Like Jose Alda's not going to fight John Jones. We're talking pound for pound here, right. man. We're not talking men, best. women. I hear you. I mean, I, we, we could argue this point all day long. I hear what you're saying. So, yeah. So, who's your top five then? My top five would be GSP. He would be my number one. And, and, and I would have said John Jones until this last weekend was my number one. Uh, number two would be probably um, Hannah Burrell. Okay. It would probably be my number two. Number three would be Jose Aldo. Number four, number four would be Anderson Silva right now. And I know he lost. I know he lost. And my number five would probably be, I don't know about that, actually. Did you, have, you didn't have John Jones in there? John Jones would probably be my number five right now. I was going right to say, you, I would imagine you would have to. Number five right now. And I, he was my number one until this last weekend. I think he got exposed, man. I really do. I, I said this going into the fight. I thought it was going to be a super hard fight for him, and I think he got exposed. I mean, and, and I hope that this John Jones goes back to the drawing board and says, my athletic ability and my weird, my weird style is not going to win me fights forever. You know, because, hey, listen, John Jones is a tremendous athlete, obviously. He's a great wrestler. He throws very unorthodox strikes and does very well at it. So does Anderson Silva. But at the same time, someone like Augustuson that's going to stand there and bang with him and has got a better jiu-jitsu game could possibly beat him. And I think long-term Daniel Cormier is the man to beat him. So any upcoming matchups you'd like to see happen? And right off the bat, I would have to say a key matchup would be Gustafson either against Teixeira or Cormier. I agree with that. I mean, and, if, and obviously if Cormier or Teixeira beats Gustafson, Next in line to I, take on John Jones. Sure, you're talking top five. If you ask me what what matches I'm looking for, like that we could put together, watch November 16th. Okay, I tell you, if you want to see the card of the year, it's November 16th. That's the card of the year so far. GSP it's and Hendricks. GSP and Hendricks. You got Robbie Law and Roy McDonald. I mean, you. I could go. The list goes on and on. That's a hell of a fight card. It's the best fight card they've put together, and they do a great job with matchups. And I tell you what, these are matchups that are also great fights. I mean, this is tremendous on November 16th. Now, what fights do I want to see right now? 
I want to see GSP and Johnny Hendricks, man. That's the fight that I've been waiting to see. I think it's a tremendous fight. And if that fight, I want to see Robbie Lawler fight the winner of that, if he can yeah. get through Roy McDonald. Yeah. So uh, Glover Texterra and John Jones. Glover Texterra, Daniel Cormier. Either one of those. Not yeah. only you can do that to Glover, but at the same time, it's the fight world. Things change. I think that he should actually end up fighting. Um, he should have to fight uh, his way in Gustafson. I think Cormier should have to fight Gustafson to make, the, make that fight happen. The winner of that gets the, the main who gets the main of um, uh, Chris Weidman or Chris Weidman. What am I talking about? Jones, jo and John Texera. Jones, and, and yes, that one. Okay. When does, if ever, Jones and Silva happen? Man, we'll say, it, we'll say it, Silva has that, has that, is that gone we'll say, right now? We'll say Silva beats uh, Weidman. Is is that? There's too much. There, it's too much. There's too much competition in the 205 division right now. Take, yeah. You know, so I don't think that happens for a little bit now. I think that before they were kind of looking for matchups for Anderson Silva. Now all of a sudden, Anderson Silva gets beat. You know, maybe he was looking past for the super fight against John Jones as well, and maybe he shouldn't have been dancing so much Probably. and got caught by Chris Weidman. So there's a lot. I mean, it could go back and forth, 100. percent There's a lot of good fights out there, especially in that light heavyweight. I think that's just. I mean, you can't go wrong with any of the names we threw out there. I'd say. I, and those are all really good matchups as well. They are. Absolutely. Uh, you got uh, Gustafson, the long, lanky striker. Cormier would be trying to get in there and, you know, push it with his wrestling. Interesting to see what would happen there. And John Jones should be there taking notes to see what works and what doesn't. I agree, but Absolutely. John Jones might be the best fighter of all three of them. I mean, Absolutely. It's, I mean that's, those are great matchups. The UFC's done a hell of a job with the 205 division. It just keeps getting better, keeps getting better. Well, we're going to be tackling the Knuckle Junkies question coming up on our next segment of 101sports.com.